Okay, so this video is for anybody trying to hook up a what am I trying to say? A mounted air compressor, work van, mechanic van, or whatever. Okay, so to hook the reel to the tank, you need these brass street elbows. They don't sell this at Home Depot. This is a specialty part. You gotta go to like an air compressor store, um, Granger, or whatever. These are very expensive. These are like $49 a fitting. So you need your brass street. You need your, this is a push. This is a push to lock hole setup. You, it's by Parker, so you buy the Parker holes. Parker press in fittings. So this and this, just these two right here is about um, almost $100. But you hooking up a high pressure compressor, you have to use the proper fittings so that this stuff don't burst or somebody get hurt. So make sure you get these proper fittings. Like I said, they brass half inch streets. And um, on the tank side, so the tank side. So as you can see, I hooked up the tank side. You can observe the same setup here, street elbow into a half inch. And I put it, tucked it neatly under the tank, as you can see. So it's out the way, won't get caught, won't get grabbed. So that's how you hook the airline up to, to, to the tank. So I'm gonna show y'all how to wire the battery to the tank. So it'd be neat and clean. We'll probably put our battery right here, out the way, neat and clean. And um, we'll be able to get this, show you how to get this tank fired up. But that's the proper way to hook the line up. Do not go get no Home Depot black pipe, brass fittings. Get the proper fittings because this explodes. Someone's going to get hurt. Shrapnel, it, it, it's dangerous. Get you a good quality hose. Like I said, this is Parker hose. This is six feet of hose. This piece of six feet was about $27. But once again, quality over everything. Safety when you're dealing with these compressors, they can get dangerous. So we're going to get it wired in, go get the battery. And we're going to get it wired up, and I'm going to show you, so y'all know how to hook up y'all compressor, if y'all get one in y'all truck or van or whatever. Okay, people, so this is what you need to get the compressor wired up and going. You need 72-inch battery cables. You need a Marine start-in battery. You need a battery box right here. Okay, so... To get this compressor running properly, you gotta wire in the battery, which is a need to get a marine starting deep cycle battery. Battery cables. You're gonna need these ends. I got some mobile one oil because 90% of people are not gonna change the oil in this small engine. And I got a battery box. And I got some self-tapping screws to mount the battery box to the floor. So let's get it hooked up. All right, people. So, damn, hit the lights. Okay, people, we got the box. We're going to go in and lock it down with these self-taps to the floor. One in each corner. Okay, people, we're going to install the battery. She's in. She's installed. Okay. 
See that star? Now let's. Yep, let's get a wire in. Okay, people, so you got to install the negative to here, the base of the motor. So, see, as you can see. Right there, lock it in. It's your negative. See how I got it in? Just tighten it up. Okay, let's get to our positive. Okay, so we're gonna run our cord under the tank. Got little slots right here. Y'all can see. So pull it through. Hmm? Add him in. Okay, people. So we slid that in. Okay. Now you put that here. That goes here. Okay. So snake the wire through. You want to hook your positive here to the starter. Direct to the starter. Let's get it loose. Okay, let me get something else to get on that. Down. Let's get that locked down, people. This is how you hook up. Get your line. For your, get your compressor running. So you can see how I did it. Right there. Tight. So let's hook up the battery. Okay. Let's get these cables hooked up. Hold on, we gonna go at the same time. Hold on. Huh? Okay. Wait, let me see this drill. I'm gonna use this drill real quick. Mm -mm. Alright, bring it back. Okay. See what we got. Okay. Get them locked down, people. So, y'all know how to tighten these up. Let's get these tightened up. Right, 
tight. Tight. Okay. Okay, people, so you see she's wired up. She ready to start. We're gonna put some oil in it, put some gas in it. Let's get her running. But you can see this how you wire it up so you can have your battery, your key, so you can have your key start. Okay, we're filling her up with oil, people. Don't start it yet. Till I tell you. Okay, we all in the rock. Hello? Okay. She full of oil. I use this oil here. Because it's good for 20,000 miles, you figure. No one's going to change the oil in this compressor, so this will last years. So I recommend that. I recommend the Mobile One Synthetic for your compressor. So let's get some gas in here. Let's get it going. Okay, people, so this is the work van we put together. As you can see, installed everything. Cage, shelves, everything the customer asked for. Air compressor, everything. 